Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Oh, we are so happy to be back. I absolutely love Walt Disney World. We're going to be staying here at Disney's All-Star Music Resort for 10 nights. We've got vlogs coming up from all the parks and along with that we're going to take you along for our full Disney experience. We have first time for us staying here at All-Star Music and yeah, we're going to take you for a full tour around, aren't we? Yeah, we're also going to show you our standard room which we absolutely love. The room is great. We're in a fantastic fantastic location as well because if you stayed in these hotels before you'll know they're absolutely massive and yeah built up of various different blocks like you can see behind us so sometimes you can be a lot further away from like your restaurant your pools and of course that famous Disney transportation uh, that takes you around but yeah we're in a really good position um, which I am very pleased about uh, but yeah come and join us we'll start off with a look at the map we'll show you the swimming pools the facilities and of course our room and the food and beverage options available here at the resort as well now, of course, the name explains this one, but the theme of the hotel is, of course, all around music. And yeah, you've actually got three different all-star resorts here at Walt Disney World. Music, movies, and also sports as well. And yeah, we thought music would be uh, the nice fitting one for us. And here's a map of the entire resort. So yeah, like I said, just, you've got lots of different blocks that feature all of the different rooms. And here you've got Melody Hall, which we're gonna start off by taking a look in. And that's where you've got like your main restaurant, that's where the reception is, luggage storage, and all that kind of stuff as well. There's also a gift shop in there, and so I'll be sure um, to show you that. And then yeah, you've got all the different blocks. There's actually 10 just here. Now we arrived quite early, we came off our cruise, and we checked in earlier and went straight into the parks. Um, and then we thought, oh, we'll get our bags dropped off and come back and I think it's actually paid off checking in early because it actually put us in number 10 right here which is fantastic and our room is literally along this front section so we've got a view of the guitar pool which is one of two pools we've got here and most importantly connected to that Disney transportation now of course um, here at this resort you've got the buses uh, the motor coaches as they call them over here and uh, yeah they pull up just out the front here so literally we're about a one minute walk from the buses which is great because obviously Walt Disney World can be very tiring and yeah getting around um, can take it out of you so the fact that you know just saving that time not having to walk like down to five or six um, like a good it only take five minutes but still that's a saving um, on a morning heading to the buses and also um, to the parks which we're very pleased about aren't oh, we? we are look at those huge maracas yeah and that's the one that we're in as well oh, <laughs> the <that>. big maracas <laughs> uh, just so there oh god it wouldn't be theme park worldwide without some puns in there um, yeah literally we're on the ground level right over there in the Calypso building. But we'll take you around there shortly. First, we'll head under the big star just here and yeah, show you inside the main kind of area where you check in. And yeah, they've got the restaurant just in here as well. Charlotte's already looking Disney-fied as well. I'm already ready. Hey, fantastic. Nice carpet just down there. For the all-star resorts. Yeah, we'll take you in the restaurants in just a second. That's the intermission food court. There is an arcade on the left as well. and lots of pictures of pop icons that we can see on there. And yeah, the resort celebrates not just pop, but all sorts of variety of music, all different genres, which I do really like. And yeah, considering it's a value resort, the room is fantastic. We are very impressed with it. And I do love the feeling here. It kind of reminds me of like old school Disney um, with all the colors. And yeah, it's not too like modern in here. You know, I do like that kind of old school vibe. Well, you're seating down here. Disney Channel on for the kids over there, so of course they can watch that whilst the parents are checking in. It's busy. It is busy, yeah, and that's the thing. I recommend getting in early and um, to come and check in because the good thing is you can leave your luggage free of charge. You can. There was nobody here this morning when we checked in. Yeah, and straight into a, a luggage room just at the Which side is really here. Really good. They give you a little ticket to go and collect it later. Yeah, and the cast member who checked us in was really good, giving us lots of information as well, which is fantastic. But yeah, when it gets busy, they've got another reception on that side. Yeah, lots of seating around which is good and yeah as a look out the front of the resort even rolled the red carpet out for us hey <laughs> there's your disney transportation which is literally around this corner so there's a look out the front of the resort or your parking just over there as well and of course there is parking with it being different blocks parking all the way around yeah big star kind of out the front as well and as we pan around here you can see the bus transportation area. So we'll kind of come down here and loop through the shop. I love this here, the massive letters, all star music. Hey. Now that is the big plus with staying on resorts. It is all about access. And normally I'd stay off site. I have stayed on property once. Charlotte here, first time. Oh no, it's so nice 
staying on site. It's so exciting. Well, it's like we just nipped down to Magic Kingdom. Ten minutes. I know, and then we came back so quick. Right, and that's what you want. It's nice, you know. So we thought a value resort for us would be perfect. We're still not going to be in our room much, uh, but having that connectivity, that's what I've paid the money for to stay on site, you know. Because uh, it is a lot more expensive staying on site, even in one of the value resorts such as this, um, than it is, you know, staying off site. Um, or the Rosen Inn like we normally stay um, in Lake Bruna Vista nearby. But yeah, this is what I've paid for. It's this connectivity. So of course you've got all the different areas where you can get the buses and it's nice and easy. You can see all the parks just up there. Magic Kingdom, Disney Springs, Typhoon Lagoon, Animal Kingdom, Blizzard Beach, uh, Epcot all the way down there. And yeah, buses come on a regular basis. All buses are free of charge. You don't need to show a room key or anything like that. And that of course connects you all the way around the resorts. And yeah, and the good thing is, it's got the times up here and through the My Disney Experience app, it actually tells you all the different bus times. So for, we've just been close, we're literally about a minute walk from here. We can look on the app and think, oh, there's a bus next going to Disney Springs or Epcot uh, and be straight out here. But also, it uh, tells you all the times up there, um, which of course is fantastic. Yeah, nice waiting area under cover as well. And yeah, it doesn't seem too busy. I mean, September's generally a good time to come to Florida, but your buses are going to be busier on the morning. And of course, on an evening, maybe like after the fireworks at like Magic Kingdom, and uh, they will be busier. But yeah, we'll cut straight through this way. It takes us through back into the gift shop. Hey, <laughs> Maestro Mickey's just over here. Let's go and have a look inside. And there he is. So old school. I love it. Oh, coming into here makes me miss the old Disney stores. Oh, I used to love them. We've still got one back in London, but yeah. Love it in here. And it's not just merchandise, you've got a lot of bits of food and things you might need as well. Yeah, so if you've got any toiletries, you can get them all here and look at all these sweeties. Hey, see so yeah, any essentials that you might need got just over there. Oh, cherry sour balls there. Drop us a comment down below if you like cherry sour balls. Might take some of those over to our maracas later on. <laughs> That's what we call. Yeah, it's very true. Popcorn in here. Oh, you like chocolate. Treats Ooh, as well. Nice, Shortbread rounds. I've had those before. They are delicious. <laughs> Doritos. Just over here. Lays. Yeah, quite a big drink selection just in here as well. And talking of drinks, you might be thinking, oh, what Charlotte got there? I've got the refill cup. So this was twenty-one dollars, and I got unlimited refills at the resort the whole time that we're here. Yeah, I mean that is brilliant. It is really good. I mean, I've got water in here at the moment, <laughs> but you can have fizzy drinks, you can have hot drinks. It's great. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It includes it was hot the drinks. First thing that I bought. <laughs> yeah. So you literally you go into where we're going to show you in a second yeah, the restaurants and. Fill it up. Yeah. Fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. Really like that. Yeah. Those are drinks that you can purchase, but you, it's best just getting one of those, in my opinion. They are great. They really are. Yeah. So we went for the Disney 100 one, but there's a few other designs as well. Getting <laughs> bottles of wine in here as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, it reminds me of my old Disney store that used to be in Derby, like oh, the closest one. So like the carpets and everything, upper old school. Of course, we'll only briefly show you some of the merch here. Monorail. Hey, we're going to be uh, going in lots of different shops. And of course, we're going to be doing a vlog down at Disney Springs as well. Full tour around World of Disney. That could be a disaster. I absolutely <laughs> love World of Disney. <laughs> Charlotte's going to wear run out of money down oh, there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a brief show you what there is with the shop, but we'll go into a lot more detail, um, of course. Hello. Thank you, we're great thanks. We make our way to uh, Disney Springs. There we go, fantastic. Yeah, a little look around the shop, and yeah, this connects back through into the lobby. Halloween merge, lots for the monorail, which is fantastic. Again, that connects out to your Disney transportation. Always look out for that logo around the resort, and yeah, that kind of takes you to any transport. It's obviously different hotels. Um, we've got different transportation. It takes you around, back around into the lobby. Mm. Hello. And of course, you notice straight away that Disney service, don't you? Oh, which is great. Staff are so friendly, which is lovely. Oh, yeah, they all do a great job. Yeah, I'll just show you this uh, screen just over here as well. So, this comes up with like hotel information, activities, park hours, all that kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, just on there, they've got um, like specialty dining, the pool information down there, which is nice, shopping, and yeah, just general information. Yeah, it's the cast members what really make Walt Disney World very special. But yeah, it's nice in here. Like I said, it's got that kind of old school vibe, but that's what I like. You know, it reminds me of like 90s, early 2000s Disney. So good in here. I love the building. You know, and you're paying for that connectivity, which I'm very pleased about. Also, our Music Hall of Fame. Just over here, a few different items. Sad to see. Selena Gomez. Pictures just there as well. 
So yeah, you've got the intermission food court, so you don't need to uh, make a reservation or anything like that. You can just walk into here, uh, and of course, yeah, you can purchase things over here. It's kind of um, like buffet style, but it's more like quick service. You can grab what you want to, and then you pay for it down here at the end, which is good. Yeah, here's a little look at some of the dishes that they've got. So this is open to 11 p.m., which is great as well. So, oh, oh look at the treats. Mickey shaped brownie down there. Cupcakes. Ooh, stuff looks really nice. And something that's great at Walt Disney World, not just at the resort, but in the parks, is mobile ordering. It can save you a lot of time, but we'll cover that when we head into the parks and just kind of show you it all through the app. Yeah, lots of options inside here. Which is great. And yeah, they do breakfast in here on the morning too. Cupcakes over here. That's nice, isn't it? I like that. Oh. Donuts, muffins, pretty reasonably priced, three ninety nine. Blueberry muffin there as well, three ninety nine. Cherry Danish, four forty nine. Banana bread. Fresh fruit available. I like a good banana on a morning, so that's always good to come and grab. And yeah, you can see some of your different prizes just up there. Impossible meatloaf, fourteen forty nine. Chicken stir fry, eleven ninety nine. Yeah, pretty reasonable pricing, I'd say. And this is a similar setup to what we had, of course, down at Universal. When we stayed at Cabana Bay, it's the same sort of idea. Here you can see like all your prices up there. Pasta's $12.99. Meatball sub, $12.49. Slice of pizza's there, $8.79 and $9.29. So yeah, not too bad. Like I say, you kind of grab what you want and then pay for it down here at the end as well. And this is your beverage area just over here. Pizza pickup round at the side. Now oh, I love how kind of old school it is. Classic Disney. So yeah, and this is where you can fill up your cup. So you just kind of place it on there. It's actually got a bit of music as well, which is quite cool. And then you can have your hot drinks as well. Which is nice. Lots of seating down here, as we can see. I mean, with how close we are, we could take it back to our room if we wanted to. So yeah, lots of seating all down here at the bottom as well. Lots of pictures. And of course you got outdoor seating available around at the side down here too, which is brilliant. Well, yeah, we'll just show you down here. They've got a little bar area now, down in this direction. So yeah, it's really spacious in here, which is fantastic. Lots of room to eat your food. And yeah, you've also got singing spirits just over here where you can get some cocktails, a little cocktail bar. As you can see, yeah, 15.50 for those, 16.50 just over there. Some non-alcoholic drinks available just there as well. Beers range from 8.50 to 10. 75 just over there but yeah what i like it's really casual this isn't it which we like it's really nice fantastic let's make our way back outside over here oh it looks a bit stormy it does look a bit stormy doesn't it this afternoon that's the thing you come in september you get low crowds but it might be a bit stormy but i'd much rather come uh, when it's you know lower crowds and not have to wait as long for attractions but yeah it's very nice around here and yeah we're literally in building 10 on the ground level just over here on the front, which is fantastic. But yeah, I do love how all the buildings have got like different themes and music genres. And because we're in the Calypso building, we've got the big maracas, uh, but we will show you some of the others as well. The question is, what's that supposed to be there? Is it a bo like a bongo drum, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. And the actual steps are, are built into that, oh, yeah. which is quite nice. Yeah, do you not realize no, that? Really yeah, yeah. All the different features have got like steps. Now like, you stay down at sports, um, you've got like lots of different theme in there. And of course, yeah, down at all the uh, different resorts of all stars just here. But I do like this, the two Calypso buildings are fantastic. And yeah, our room is just here on the left hand side. So yeah, we'll go and uh, take you for a tour around there now. And just before we head inside, this is literally from out the front of our door, looking out to the pool area just over there. There's a gate, literally just down the right hand side that leads through to this pool area. It's shaped like a guitar, this one. And yeah, straight down that way, we've got the restaurant and also Transportation. I don't even think you need to go through the buildings of the buses if you don't want. You can just go around to the right and around the corner, which is brilliant. But uh, let's go have a look around the room. So welcome to our standard room at Disney's All Star Music Resort. How nice is this? This is so nice. I can't believe how spacious it is. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we've just come off a cruise as well, so it feels extra big. It does, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, of course, the highlights being these wonderful pictures. Just above the bed, we got Mickey, Minnie, and Donald just there as well. 
with the nice lighting fixtures. And straight away, it's very modern in here. I believe these were refurbished a few years ago. They look lovely. Look at all these pillows we've got. <laughs> well, the idea of those is because there's actually two beds. You might be thinking, hang on a minute, where is it? Is it underneath? It's not there. Is it over here? It's not there. Where is it? Pull this down, we haven't done it yet. If you pull this down, it makes another bed. Like, how great is that? Yeah. And literally, this table, obviously, you move the chairs out of the way, it all, just it all down. falls down. I mean, that is fantastic. That is really good because if you want the separate bed, you can. It's very well designed. It's like something from IKEA, that yeah, is, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. You know, but if you don't want it up, because we, we, you know, we probably won't, no. um, but yeah, you can just leave it up just and over there. More space then. Yeah, I think that yeah, is fantastic. Nice area. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's perfect for editing, but yeah, the bed is nice and big just over there as well. You've got some storage over on either side, which is fantastic. There's plug sockets on both sides too, and USB chargers, which is fantastic. Yeah, I really like this room. Really nice and bright and spacious. Yeah, and very modern too. It is, which is good. Yeah, should we have a look around the rest of the room? Yeah, definitely. I've got all my ears on display here. Hey, look at all those. What have we got over here then, so Eli? I've got, these are my Magic Kingdom pair. Then I've got my Halloween pair. Tower of Terror, Figment, obviously, <laughs> Figment, and then we've got Slinky Dog. And you've got these ones on and your And these ears. ones that I've got. I didn't pack too many. Not too many? You've that's got all these. Even, you've got six even, pairs. That's not even a lot. <laughs> There's pairs of ears. And we've got some other bits over here too, as you can see. Some storage shelves all at the top. We've got the coffee maker just there. Yeah. And what we got? Joffrey's coffee. Joffrey's and twinings too. Yeah, that's good. Oil grey down there as well. Yeah. Some cups. This is really handy just having some and cups. And you can just take them on the go then. Yeah, and there's some just at the top here as well. She's going to like this unit. Like this it's is cool. Nice. And then you've got a fridge as well, which is good. And then another drawer here. Yeah, with storage. Fridge is nice just down there. Good size. Air conditioning unit on the side. It's a nice quiet AC unit as well. It's nice to not have one of those massive AC units that are normally here. They're normally huge, so at least it's hidden. And they're very noisy as well. They those are. Ones. This one can't really hear it. Yeah, it's uh, very quiet. Recycling bin down here. This is something you don't normally get. It's obviously Disney big on the recycling, which is good to see. And yeah, you've got your recycling on the left. And down in here, I've put these in specially for you. There you go. They've gone. The Primark £2 flip-flops in the bin just there. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Loads more storage over here as well, which is great. And yeah, I presume there's a safe inside yes, one of these as well. There we go. There we go. Safe, Bible, more yeah. storage down there as well. And yeah, this is great. It's just so nice and modern. TV's massive, big Samsung TV. And what's nice is it puts your name on when you come into the room as well. It's really nice. I have to say the quality of these are really good. Yeah, the good units. I, I like it a lot. Like, and what's great about this resort is you get kind of the old school Disney theming outside. And then you come into here and it's just really modern and nice, it is. isn't it? I really like it. Yeah, I do like it a lot. And having the pictures up there, um, I think is great. Really but yeah, like loads of storage all around here, which is ideal. And so many plugs. Like we've got another two plugs there with two USBs, two more over there. There's, There's some nice. around that corner. There's some over there. That's my little another storage area, actually. There you go. Look at that for all my charging, which is great. It kind of hides it all away. And then you've got them on either side of the bed. Room for the suitcases underneath. just underneath there. And that's great. Should we go into the uh, bathroom? Yeah, let's go in. Have a little look around here. I'm going to say bathroom, we have actually got a bath. <laughs> I've got all my dresses hanging up there. Yes, yeah, so this is different. You kind it of is. expect that to be here. there, don't you really? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just different. You I'm know. happy we've got an iron and ironing box. I need to do some ironing. Hey, we've actually got a lot of our clothes in the wash at the moment. And we'll take you down to the a laundry area. Uh, in just a moment. But yeah, there's so many shelves and storage areas. Of course, perfect for families. Uh, like all down here. It's great, isn't it? Having all really that. Really good. And especially, I love how we've got the access straight out. I mean, you know, I was happy just staying on site thinking, oh, we've only got to, you know, walk five minutes to the bus. Literally, we're 60 seconds away from the buses. On the bus. Yeah, it's ideal. It took 10 minutes to get to Magic Kingdom. Like, when we stay off site, it can be like 90 minutes to two hours with public transport. So, um, that's beautiful, this trip Takes for ages. us. <laughs> nice lighting fitment all the way around there as well. I nearly said figment then. I know you did. You're getting too excited for figment. <laughs> nice uh, lighting figments just all the way around. I've got my figment shorts on as well. Love Purple. You like those, wouldn't they, figments? Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I like how you've got your Disney branded um, soaps just here as well. Fantastic. I do like it when the parks actually have them branded. Um, the Robinsons don't come with it. We've uh, brought those in. And so we've got two left. First aid kit. Oh, it's there. needed. <laughs> of course, all your towels. It is daily um, room service as well. They'll come in. Toilet and another bin down there. And there's another bin on that side. Or trash can if you're American watching this. Uh, and just over here, some towels. This is nice. And a bit like a 
a shell bath area not use this yet but definitely will tonight shower looks pretty solid just up there as well which is good one thing i do like with this i like how this pulls over what, what oh, oh that, yeah it ah. pulls over in a way that stops like all water, water coming on the floor that's fab yeah because what i hate about showers you know the ones that are built into the floor and then it, it comes air. everywhere yeah i like it when it's like this oh we've got the proper disney branded um soap just here and shampoo body wash I do like it when they're all branded. Yeah, Disney Resorts, all fantastic to see. And of course we brought some of our own. Even this is handy, just having this little square inside there. Towel rails over here too. And that's the room, of course, there is super fast broadband available as well. Nice high speed internet, which comes in very handy. Curtains quite uh, jazzy over there yeah, as well. Yeah, it is, look like really good like blackout curtains. Yeah, and that uh, of course takes you straight out to the pool, 20 seconds, you're in the pool. It's literally jump straight in. Yeah, it's <laughs> ideal, but no, I'm really impressed with this, especially with it being an older resort and value, like this is one of the cheapest places to stay on the whole of Walt Disney World, and it's, it's great, I'm very pleased. You can't go to sleep yet, Charlotte. Oh, no. We're off to the parks. Yippee! Hey! <laughs> Luckily, they've got a nice relaxing cruise, and you can check that all out over on the Sandbrook Adventures. But uh, like I said, we've got our washing in, so we'll go in and take you down to that area. We'll show you the pools on the way. Hopefully that storm hasn't come in yet. Um, and we'll go and check it out. But yeah, very impressed. Lovely room here at Walt I'll Disney World. Oh, you never know, it's always wise. You never know. Florida in September. <laughs> and back outside then, pool hours, 10 a.m. until 10 p.m., which is great. So you can have a dip on a morning or at night, and here's all your pool. So yeah, this is the main guitar swimming pool. And it's ideal, our room literally right over there under the maracas. And this is just Florida for you. Look at it now, it was overcast 10 minutes ago. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's shiny, you need your sunglasses. Oh, no, I've left them in the room. Oh. So yeah, you can't really tell from on ground level, but it is a big guitar. Just here. Oh, I guess you can tell when you look, it goes thin just over here. It's a very nice pool area. More maracas over on that side. Oh, this is lovely. Definitely be having a dip in here, fully accessible, as well as we can see. And of course, we've got some characters down there in the middle as well. We've got Donald just over there, facing down towards that main building. We have the pool. It's quite large here actually, there's no slides or anything like that, but yeah, it's quite a large pool, lifeguards all the way around. And yeah, you can, you can tell it's a guitar actually, maybe if we go up to one of these top levels, you'll see even more, but yeah, it's shaped like a guitar and you've got loads of loungers all the way around here as well, which is great to see, very nice. Complimentary life jackets are available, that can be quite handy. I love how colourful it is out here, it's so nice. And that's the thing with the darker colours inside the room as well. Like you come out and it's like, whoa, it's just so vibrant. It just hits you, doesn't it? Oui. And you come out. Nice bag there, Charlotte. I know. Just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There we go. We're washing in because we've got loads. <laughs> oh, how much was that? Like two dollars. Oh, that's all right. It's really good. I can use it back home when I go to Aldi. That's fantastic. <laughs> Aldi and do your shopping. Yeah, I do like the relaxed vibe of staying on resource. It's something not really done that much of in the past, so it's been great, especially this trip, staying down at Universal. We're allowed to say that word up here. Um, but yeah, we stayed on site down there, and then of course staying here is great. And it kind of shows you, like, I mean, both of them are kind of value resorts as well, so it kind of shows you, you know, how similar they are, but also how different as well. And of course, each resort, very different. And you appreciate both, you know, it's nice to actually, for us, instead of just doing a day at Disney, a day at Universal, to be immersed in that world, it's isn't nice it? To just do everything all together. We know we haven't got to leave the Disney bubble now. Yeah, and it was the same down at Universal, you oh, know. Oh, we had such a good time. Oh, we did, it was great. Yeah, another yeah. look back okay. to Calypso. See so, yeah, how the rooms come across uh, three levels. You've got the ground level there. Of course, the two levels just above. And everything just looks really nicely painted up and very fresh as well, which is fantastic. There's a play area just down this way. Let's go and have a look at that. And yeah, I'm actually gonna show you some footage around here at night as well, because I think it's all gonna be lit up quite nicely, so we'll show you that. You all the insects. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, what's also fascinating about this is the scale of it. So you saw that map, but yeah, like this gives you an idea on how lucky we are to be close, because these are like just a few of the blocks closest. You know, it goes way back. So I'm very grateful of where we are. Let's have a look down here. I don't think that is bugs. I think that's like a noise what they play to try and stop them coming round oh, that's here. that's fantastic. I believe so. Here's your play area. So what have we got down here? What equipment? 
Oh, it's on a, a sandy beach. There oh, we go. Yeah. That's quite nice. All around here. Little park for the kids to play on. Nobody down here, but I suppose when you've got four theme parks to enjoy, you're not really going to be here in the daytime. But yeah, more in an evening. But yeah, quite a lot of play equipment. Yeah, that's what that noise is, I believe. It's to try and stop the insects from coming. Stop them from coming for me. Yeah, I think they've got them in the parks as well. Nice big palm trees up there as well. Wouldn't be Florida without the lovely palm trees, would it? That gorgeous blue sky now and humidity it is very hot. And that's the thing, even when it rains, when you're out here in Florida, it's still nice in your shorts, especially if you're British anyway. Oh, we still appreciate that. That leads back down to the guitar pool. And then we're down towards some of the next buildings just here now. Big saxophone just up there. The Jazz Inn. Lots of shaded areas kind of around here as well where you could chill out. Which is very nice. I love this one over here, the big drum kit. You know me, I like my drums. <laughs> the jazz in. I think that is brilliant. Look at the theming on there. Massive drum kit. It's actually on both sides as well, which is nice. Water feature there in the middle too. Yeah, that is fantastic. Disney's all-star jazz band. As we continue on down towards the centre of the resort, there is another swimming pool just down here as well. I believe this is the piano pool. This one's quite a bit smaller than the guitar. Um, but yeah, this is more in the centre. So if you are staying down here uh, towards the middle or the back um, of all-star music, you have got a pool down here too. You don't have to walk back to that one. Uh, but you can see what I mean now by it's worth, you know, getting a room um, right down by the entrance. Because yeah, of course, you can be walking quite a while in the resort. These hotels are massive. You could build a full like UK theme park in like half of one of these. Music's playing, which is nice. Chill out vibes. So yeah, this is the piano pool. And the reason it's called that is because, of course, shaped like a piano. And yeah, you can see that over here with all the tiles, which is quite a nice feature. Towels all around at the side, lots of lounges as well. I love this, this is great. Oh yeah, there we go, hello. <laughs> Hi Ariel, I wasn't expecting to see you down here. So yeah, there's some much smaller pool as you can see but still very nice uh, you've got still quite a lot of room for sunbathing all around at the side lifeguards always on duty and complimentary life jackets and yeah you get your pool towels down here as well as I say bringing your own down if you want to you can just get those and then return your pool towels just over on that side but yeah this is nice all around here and you get an idea how far the resort goes all the way further back down there and yeah we'll have a good kind of walk around later on tonight in the dark and show you some of these other bits because look at this it kind of spans all down there and this is the centre here so it gives you an idea how lucky we are I to be there. I am so glad to be up there. Yeah I believe you can request rooms though so if you wanted to you could always request to be like in the Calypso section down at the bottom. Now something that you might be getting used to seeing on our channels is us doing the washing whilst we're on trips and you've got wash facilities just inside here. <laughs> That's it. So it's getting all the washing out the dryer just there. Wow. So yeah, you've got the washing machines over that side. There is loads of them and all the dryers over here. And the washing machines took about, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, not too bad. But if you are coming, you just have to scan this QR code and you pay on the website, which is quite easy, really. Yeah, it means you don't need the cash for it, yes. which is Love good. all this washing. We've got so much. <laughs> I like this, just here, how you can wheel it about. Yeah. There we go. It's quite huge in there. <laughs> you need to be with all this washing. Yeah, we've got loads, haven't we? we got a thing from the cruise and a few bits as well from when we were down at Universal. But yeah, fantastic. Hey, here we go. Look at all that. Fantastic. Got me a bag of washing just there. Quite heavy though. Yeah, there's a lot there. So if you are wanting to do the washing, it was $3.50 for the washer and $3.50 for the dryer. So not too bad. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's uh, go and take this now back to our room. Here we go then. So we've got the washing bag just over here. And yeah, Charlotte's going to iron that, aren't you, at some point? I'm going to sort that out 
out and get it all ironed. Oh, you're really good, aren't you? Now, of course, we're going to be heading to the park shortly to go and ride Tron, and that's going to be tomorrow's video on the channel. But yeah, I just wanted to show you up here the wonderful artwork again because it is so nice. It really is. Hang on, here, ironing boards coming out. Look at this setup. Here we go. Get that ready. Fantastic. But yeah, when we come back, I'm going to take you all for a bit of a tour around the hotel, showing you it's at night outside. So we'll see you a little bit later. Let's go see Mickey Mouse. So we're back here now at the All Star Music Resort after a fantastic evening riding Tron for the first time here at Walt Disney World over in Magic Kingdom. And we even had some extra special Disney magics. Yeah, we'll talk all about that in the vlog for you all tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you for a bit of a tour around now of the hotel at night, starting off with this fantastic lighting out the front. How awesome does this look? All the big letters, the star. Yeah, this looks brilliant, it really does. It's a nice greeting when you come off the bus at night. And yeah, it's brilliant. Charlotte's just having a nice chill out now in the room. After, of course, a busy few hours in Magic Kingdom. Let's go and have a stroll around. Oh, how nice and peaceful does that pool look this evening? Being closed for about 90 minutes now, because of course it closed at 10. And yeah, they're pretty good opening hours really for the pool, which is great. And we'll definitely make the most of that. With us being here at 10 days at Walt Disney World, we've got plenty of time to relax too. And yeah, take it all in a bit more with us staying on site. Some more big maracas <laughs> over here in the other Calypso building. We're on the opposite side. But yeah, I do love the theming around this resort. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a stroll round. Of course, everyone's just kind of getting back from Magic Kingdom and yeah, we've had a great time. We really have. Cannot wait to share the Tron vlog with you all tomorrow. Huge photo up there with the guy playing the saxophone. I do like that. Let's carry on around this way. Oh, this looks cool at night down here. And I love how over the top the theming is and also the lighting up there on the Jazz Inn. That is fantastic. And yeah, you can see the same over on this side. Oh, brilliant. All the drum kit. A little bit night there too. So I'm down now by the piano pool and this really does show you the size of this resort because yeah, you've got all these blocks down here too. And these are like big speakers. Like I said, these have got the stairs inside that lead up to the other levels. But yeah, those are fantastic with the lights in the top as well. And yeah, this is great down here. In terms of theming, this is probably my favorite block down here. In terms of access, yeah, you are further away down here. It'll take you about five minutes or so to walk up to the main reception area, so still not too bad. Yeah, you've got the big guitars, all the music notes and records on the balconies there, which are really nice. You've got a car just over here. And yeah, you've also got the jukeboxes. I think these look great. Yeah, this is like the rock and roll area. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, I love this theming around here. Love how all the floors themed as well. And you've got like all the neon strips down at the side. Kind of reminds me of something that you'd see in Las Vegas. And down here now in the country fair area. And yeah, this is of course is celebrating all country music. You can see all the different instruments over on the side. And yeah, it's nice walking around here at night and seeing it because it's all lit up beautifully, which I really do like. And that's the thing, a lot of the newer resorts now, they're very modern and don't really have a lot of charm to them. What I like about these value classic resorts is all these big set pieces and I hope they don't ever kind of take this away. Cause I love all this old school Phoebe. Look at the size of these massive boots over here. <laughs> They're epic. It's just so quirky, isn't it? I mean, when I was a kid, I would have loved to have stayed here. Of course, I didn't first visit Florida until 2014, but yeah, I'd have really loved this. And I like staying here now, just seeing it all. Very quirky. That's the thing, there's loads of seating around as well, so you can just kind of chill out, take it all in and see all the scenery. But yeah, I do like how it's got that kind of continuous theme all the way around these big props and set pieces but the different genres of music and again the vibe totally changes when you're walking down here because it feels like you're actually on the streets all the road markings the crossing and yeah they've actually got posters up for different broadway musicals that disney do i mean that's a nice little touch the lion king just up there and of course aladdin as well and you've got the theater sign just above it all the lights underneath and that's a really nice little touch what they do around here and yeah it's the same over on this side as well frozen a broadway musical mary poppins and beauty and the beast and yeah i've seen all of them actually but yeah how cool is that and yeah the theater sign up there at the top that says broadway in neon lights now oh, i love exploring the different resorts and especially at night as well seeing all the lighting yeah it really brings this one to life with the huge scale set pieces and yeah all the lighting 
around too and it's just got a really nice chill that atmosphere even though it's late at night loads of people just sat about uh, just relaxing and taking it all in gonna head back up to the room now and of course we'll wrap up our vlog I'm back in the room there after a nice walk around seeing the all-star music resort at night. I tell you what, I really do like it here and for a value resort, it's perfect for us, isn't oh, it? Oh, this is absolutely lovely. The theming around the hotel is so good and like massive scale sets. Yeah, I love that and it's really quirky when you walk around. Lots of good photo opportunities and also our location here, I'm really pleased about. Of course, we went down to the park and uh, yeah, it was so nice and efficient. Literally a, a one minute walk back from the bus. And yeah, the bus it takes about 10-15 minutes which is ideal oh, for us. Oh that is so good just getting back super quick. Yeah and that's going to Magic Kingdom which is the furthest away part from here. I believe that Animal Kingdom is the closest to us so that'll probably be an even shorter ride and then of course Epcot and Hollywood Studios which are kind of uh, mid-tier. They're a little bit further away than Animal Kingdom um, but yeah not as far as Magic Kingdom. But no, I definitely recommend staying here. Uh, there's lots of food options available. Uh, the refillable cup we've had loads of refills oh, already. that is so so good. Yeah, it's nice how they uh, offer that and pretty good value as well for the duration of your stay, um, which is brilliant. Not been in the pools yet, but I'm sure we will do. We've got access to the guitar pool right <laughs> out here. Um, but yeah, I think it's nice how you've got two. Uh, and I'd recommend if you are staying here, try and request to be um, closer to the main reception area um, because maybe you might get a little bit more noise possibly. I mean, we've not heard anything tonight because we've been in the parks, but it uh, might be a little bit more noisy possibly, but you know what? Um, it's much better. When you come back, you've had a long day, tiring and you're out walking around on your feet. Um, just to be able to walk back um, to one of these first blocks is great. Yeah, because when you've been on your feet all day, you get off the bus and you're like, oh no, I've got to walk <laughs> ages to my room. Yeah, it's perfect. And yeah, the uh, Wi-Fi seems pretty good in Very here good. as well. And uh, yeah, just overall the hotel's great. Love the artwork, like I say, behind us. And uh, just overall, the room's very spacious. It's modern. It's perfect for us. And I think it's great how that bed lifts down. If you did want that, that as well. That is fab. And that's why all the pillows are there. A lot of people think, <laughs> why is there so many pillows? <laughs> yeah. It's because they go on to the other bed. Yeah, but we'll probably just leave these in. <laughs> yeah, we probably will. I like loads of pillows. Yeah, Charlotte will probably have these. I'll have one. The rest of them, Charlotte I will I literally yeah. like like three pillows because I like to wrap them all around me. You just barricade yourself know, in pillows. I do. But uh, anyway, of course, we We've been to Ride Tron. We're going to have our full review, including on ride footage, um, coming up. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, we had a bit of Disney magic. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog um, so you can see that. And of course, we're going to be at all four theme parks Typhoon Lagoon. We would have done Blizzard Beach, but it's closed again. Oh, I've not been for years to Blizzard Beach. It's got to be at least like six or seven years. Shut again for its maintenance. Uh, but of course, we'll be going to Disney Springs as well oh, and yes. uh, checking out the merchandise and a few other things uh, during our trip to Walt Disney World. We'll see you tomorrow as we head to Magic Kingdom for Tron. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get yeah, out there and keep on riding. See you tomorrow.